I want to give a shout out to all those crypto kitties out there who uh, I met at um, Consensus 2019 in New York when I was there. And um, I'm planning on hanging out with you at DEF CON and talking about Josie Knot, the next crypto kitties to space <laughs> that I want to launch. So, uh, but I want to talk about the, um, um, the Bitcoin Global Reserve Fund that I launched today, okay? And I funded it with 4.2 Bitcoin. And my goal is to build this fund to 1,000 Bitcoin. And this fund um, is going to exist autonomously on the blockchain by AI uh, built on machine learning algorithm smart contract called Obey. And Obey stands for Open Beneficial AI. Obey basically is going to manage and run um, uh, proof of benefit. Now, proof of benefit is uh, anyone can run proof of benefit on any phone. It's not very power. It's not like Bitcoin. It takes a lot of power and everything else. And I want you to think of um, the Obey node as uh, is kind of like when you when you pull up Task Manager on um, Google or Facebook, you see all of these little kernels running. Okay, so you'll you run the Obey kernel. And the obey kernel basically is um, crunching and gathering your data that it doesn't share with anyone. It doesn't put it to corporations. It's just for obey, okay? And then what the obey does is it calculates um, and makes recommendations on how you could lower your footprint, okay? Um, and also encourages, encourages you to participate in found ups. Found ups are open, decentralized, uh, self-driving by Obey uh, startups that launch on the blockchain and they are actually tokenized um, and they ultimately um, you know um, do go through what's known OPO open public offering like kind of like a form of an ICO but not an ICO right um, and what Obey does is it basically seeds your found up it could be gardening it could be transforming this riverbank into a food forest, right? Um, these are different projects I've been kind of working on by myself. I've been doing found ups since 2014 on Patreon. I raised about $60,000. Found ups aren't about basically um, necessarily making a profit. Found ups are about solving problems. And um, the Bitcoin Global Reserve Fund exists as like the gold standard for for launching funding and this whole new um, transformation of capitalism called social capitalism which I call socapism so socapism um, is the next iteration see the problem with capitalism is it's broken it was built on something known as compounded annual growth rate CAGR and uh, CAGR basically treats our planet as an infinite object um, and I'm going to pick myself a fig. And our planet is a finite object. You can't have an infinite object inter interacting with a finite object. So I'm going to spend the rest of my time basically raising funds that I'm going to hold as part of the global Bitcoin Global Reserve Fund, encouraging people to buy Bitcoin and encouraging people to make pledges. I'm not asking for anyone to send me any. If you want to, you can. Um, I'm self-producing my events. There is no corporation. I'm doing it myself with my own money. Um, and if you want to contribute, I will use funds out of there and I will document all the funds I use to pay for um, out-of-pocket expense that are associated with um, um, Blockfest and everything. So, um, and my goal is that next year we will launch as part of the Tokyo Olympics is not part of, but in the same time, uh, Blockfest JP, which is going to be kind of a crypto burning woman celebration of uh, social capitalism, where tribes can come together in a place called Hakuba, um, Japan, which is where the Nagano 98 Olympics, most of the year it's completely void of people. It can grow to 100,000 people there and um, have a huge celebration every year where people come together, have a good time, kind of like a burning man or burning, you know, um, event um, and uh, 
we work on projects. We work on found ups. We work on different projects to solve and uh, to launch. Um, so the fun is going to, like I said, exist completely on the blockchain eventually when it moves. And it will, it won't, uh, it won't spend its Bitcoin. It will kind of like gold. When the gold standard was, gold was never spent, right? When the dollar was backed by gold, it set, it, the gold sat in a big vault. Well, Bitcoin is going to sit in an autonomous vault that exists completely on the blockchain. So I can't get access to it. Governments can't get access to it. As long as there's people running the obey um, uh, kernels, right? <laughs> it's going to exist. So as long as obey kernels are being run and everything else, then the fund is going to basically maintain these accounts. Certain certain rules, restrictions will apply. And everyone who donates, everyone who is a stakeholder, everyone, everyone, I don't care who you are on the planet, whether you donate or not, will have a vote just by doing KYC, proving that you're not a bot. Um, and because social capitalism is for everyone, right? Social, meaning everyone. Social media, everyone's media. Social capitalism, everyone's capitalism. And uh, ultimately, what's really important for you to understand is that the validator for uh, socapism isn't proof of growth, which is the validator for proof of work and proof of stake. It's all proof of growth, right? But rather proof of benefit, which measures the benefit that the projects and the that you are doing and rewarding that person for making those changes, downsizing to a smaller car. Why not get a discount, right? We will underwrite. And the um, the uh, the tokens that the fund will release, I call them ups, right? Um, are kind of like would be kind of like the dollar being backed by the by gold. And there are there is no ICO. There is no STO, there's no uh, exchange offering for ups because like Bitcoin, they're only released by Obey. So I don't have any. <laughs> as, soon as, as soon as Obey is working, I do found ups all the time. Maybe Obey can look back at all the found ups I've done. <laughs> Give me some credit, I wish, but no, it's moving forward. So people basically working to uh, solve problems locally. Uh, these problems can be duplicated by other people. Um, you know, people can go to found up houses, participate that way. You can, you know, products, all that stuff. You can read my white paper on socapism.com. It's an open paper. I hope other people will contribute to it. I hope other people will, you know, um, join found ups. Found ups is an open corp. You just have to add it. Found ups uh, to your, um, you know, to your uh, LinkedIn profile and you're a member, right? Uh, we're all volunteers. I've been doing this for 10 years. I've yet to get a paycheck. <laughs> so, mm, so good. Hope to see you in, in DevCon. Let me talk about that real quick. So I'm branding SoCapism, FoundUps, and um, um, BlockFest at uh, DevCon. Um, I know that there is a whale out there, number 20, I call it number 20, that uh, is going to get behind found ups and say, hey, I'm your number 20. Um, and um, they will pledge to basically match whatever funds is raised. There will be a billionaire. There'll be, you know, multi-billionaire. They'll pledge to match whatever funds are raised. Um, and uh, they will basically lend their financial support behind me and my projects um, and uh, help get found ups off the ground. I thought I'd found that person in 2016 with uh, Brandon Kersner. I love Brandon. I love Craig. They're two great guys. And yet the deal went sideways and my arm is extended always to, to Craig and, and um, Brandon that, uh, you know, I'm still here if you guys still want to move forward. Um, and uh, 2020, we're launching. <laughs> That's the goal anyway. It's been a, uh, it's taken 10 years, what I say 10 years to build the runway for the launch, um, for the Bitcoin to mature, 
to 10,000, it's gotten to a good state. Um, for the blockchain to evolve with Ethereum, um, Cardano, all these different blockchains, there's many blockchains out there. Uh, we're ubiquitous. Um, basically, the, the solution can exist on all blockchains. And, um, and finally, AI is finally opening its eyes and looking out at the world. And we're hearing a lot about that, right? With automation, everything else. So that's undaudu. Undaudu, the three stages. And now we're entering the three stages to social capitalism. So the un stage is, you know, um, is basically informing and opening people's eyes to this reality. The DAO stage will be the launch of the fund uh, via an autonomous agent that's been tested and everything else. And we, will, we won't stick all our Bitcoin in there. It'll be a slow trickle of Bitcoin in there. It's kind of a DAO, right? Undao, you know, where the word DAO, undao do. Um, and um, autonomous DAO that exists um, completely on the blockchain out of the reach of any government, any corporation, right? And uh, and then basically the do is when we have 19 Danos disrupting the 19 industries that the blockchain can disrupt. And at that point, um, there's going to be kind of a, um, snowball effect as people are going to migrate from companies like Facebook and Google and IBM and Microsoft all these closed companies are going to be uh, forced to become Danos because their customers are gonna say you know Amazon I'm not gonna support this anymore and other companies I think people like Warren Buffett and others will say you know what we will make you know I'm gonna be dying or I'm gonna you know People are going to have these huge fortunes, these huge Bitcoin fortunes, and they're going to will them and put them into the fund. So eventually, the fund um, will be the gold reserve for social capitalism, right? That puts humanity first and the planet with humanity first, its living systems, and in sharing with others. So things like UBI, free education, Will come from Danos that are offering education. Universities will be Danos. Free medical, again, Danos offering medical. All of these things, all the profits. So imagine if all the great corporations all existed and shared one bank account, right? That's that's the fund, right? And the money just flows into it. And then you've got AI doing all the accounting, all the management, all the all the you know all of that stuff, taking care of it, pulling from the same fund. So it doesn't care. See, Obey doesn't care if the Clean Up Beach program is losing tens of millions of dollars. It doesn't matter. The important is clean up the beach. Um, Obey doesn't care if, um, you know, uh, it's, it isn't driven by profits, it's driven by benefit. And that project, technically that's losing money, may actually be making money because the proof of value stake on, on the token, everything is, draw, is going up. So even though it's costing money, the value underwriting the token that's driving that project is significant. I don't know if that makes sense to you. It's a whole new paradigm shift. And I'm asking you to jump down the rabbit hole with me and uh, come along and meet me, the Sadu of the blockchain, Undaudu, the reincarnation of the founder of the Mayan civilization, who, you know, who was the the only student of Shigamatra, the shadows of the of the aware mammoths. What do you think? I'll tell you what, this is good. I'm gonna go find another one. Mm. So many. I'm gonna go back. This one uh, it's got a bunch, but oh, there's one right there. Undow do to you and yours.